Hey guys, what's up? So I just wanted to let you guys know and kind of announce that today is my one year anniversary, yay, of being technically vegetarian because I have messed up quite a few times this year. I'd still say I've been about 90% vegan for the last year, and but I have had a few mess ups and I do still use some makeup that has beeswax in it that I'm still uh, researching and looking for like uh, replacements that I will like. I have tried one um, foundation by the same people who make the one I currently use that they have a vegan one, but I didn't like it. It didn't actually look like anything was there once it was on. Honey's visiting me. <laughs> Hi, honey. Anyway, um, yeah, so I didn't like their vegan foundation. So I'm still looking for some stuff to replace my old stuff that will be vegan in the future. Um, so my goal is for the next year to be, you know, becoming more vegan, I guess you would say. I, I like to say plant-based diet, but, um... I am trying to exclude all products and things that include um, dairy and beeswax and palm oil and just try to live more sustainable, use more sustainable products and stuff like that. So I do my best. Um, like I said, I'm still looking for replacements for certain things, but once I find those, um, there's no reason to go back. So anyway, it's been, you know, a rough year in a way. It's been fun and it's been a learning experience and I love this community and this lifestyle. So I'll never go back and I'm definitely never going to go back to eating meat because, you know, it makes me feel like crap and, um, it makes my Crohn's disease flare up really bad. Um, dairy does as well. So Anytime I have messed up with dairy, it's given me a, a real good reminder of why I don't, not only, you know, for the animals, but why I don't need to personally be eating it because I don't want to be sick and I don't want to feel like crap all the time. So, um, yeah, so the more I, and the more, you know, you do this lifestyle, the more you start like becoming more compassionate about animals and, um, I don't know, the more, just the more you wake up and realize that there's no need to cause this harm on other creatures. There's, there's no reason. I mean, we have so many delicious foods and things that we can eat that don't need to be uh, animal-based. So there really is no excuse to eat animals anymore. So my, my number one goal of this next year is to never go back to eating any kind of dairy whatsoever because there's really no need for it and it's just an addiction and it's just like uh, my self-sabotaging ways that come in and, and make like also my whole plan for this year is to work on my mental like issues because the whole reason I have a problem sticking to um, like I said this lifestyle and the whole reason I have a problem with like losing or I should say releasing weight because I don't want to find it again is not because I can't stick to the lifestyle. It's not because I don't know how to do the lifestyle. I've proven to myself with all the experiments that I've done that I know how to do it and I know how to make myself lose weight. My problem is up here that I need to work on fixing my issues mentally in order to stop self-sabotaging myself and to learn self-love. So those are really my big goals for this year is to, uh, I already know how to do the diet, the lifestyle, so just stop thinking so much about it, just do it, and concentrate more on fixing my mental issues and my, you know, self-love, self-sabotage, self-confidence, things like that that I need to work on. Um, I've been putting off going to therapy for like two or three years now because for some reason I'm like afraid to go. And I keep saying I'm gonna go and I'm not, but I'm really gonna try to push myself this year out of my comfort zone and make myself go to therapy to try to get over my own mental blocks. And my husband went a while ago, a couple years ago, and it really helped him and it helped our relationship so much. So I know that it will help me. I just need to get off my butt and stop being afraid and just do it. Plus his psychologist gave him some books to read and I'm gonna try to dig those out and see if I can find them. And I think I know where one of them is, but I'm not sure where the other ones are. So I'll have to ask him, but I'm gonna start reading those and I'm finally gonna make myself sit down and start reading The Power of Int Intention by uh, 
Wayne Dyer, which I meant to read this last year and I didn't do it. I only read the first couple pages, which is only like quotes of p famous people's quotes and stuff. And um, yeah, so I'm finally going to make myself read that, even if I have to read just like a page a day. And so, yeah, my goals, one of my resolutions is just to work on myself and uh, not worry so much about the diet, like I said, because I know what I'm doing. I just need to not focus on it so much and just do it and not think so hard about it because I'm focusing too much on what I'm eating. I already know what to eat. I know what I should be doing. What I need to focus on is my mental health and making it so that I stop self-sabotaging. But anyway, I'm happy that it's my anniversary and now we can just move forward and one year vegetarian behind me. That was my transition year and now it's time to move forward and just keep improving and work out all the little kinks that need to be worked out to make you know, build the perfect little life. Well, nothing's perfect, but you know, my perfect little life that I want to build for myself and uh, move on to whatever my purpose in life is supposed to be that I keep holding myself back from that I need to work out and figure that out. So I'm looking forward to this year and um, thanks for joining me on my journey and uh, it's going to be a great year. Bye guys. Hi, Zinetra. What you doing? Daddy left, so you came to visit, huh? And the boys left. <laughs> the boys left, so you're allowed to visit. Huh. Pretty kitty, huh? Pretty kitty. <clears throat> uh oh, someone's jealous. Someone's jealous. She ran away because you came. She ran away and left me. Ugh, I can't see her. She's gone. Look, honey chased her off. She's so jealous, territorial, even though Honey, um, Cinedra was here first. <laughs>